Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again. Oh, and today have I got something special for you. So not only, right, are we in Barnsley, that's why I've got told Barnsley through and through on, right, we're going to a place for breakfast called Three Little Pigs. And I thought to myself, Three Little Pigs? Well, I can't just go with me and cameraman. I've got to take a third wheel, and I've got to take somebody else. So I brought a guest along. Take a look at this in back at van. It's oh, my guys. dad. Hey. All right then, Chug. I'm all right, Father. How are you? I'm, go I'm, I'm doing well. Doing well. Doing well. Looking why, forward to it. Why have you come dressed up? Well, I thought, you know, somebody's got to raise the stakes a little bit. You know, put a little bit of uh, finesse to it. Finesse. So I says to him, right, Father, we're going to go out tomorrow for the breakfast to a cafe. And he comes out with a shirt and tie on. Huh? Well, you don't take me out that often. Well, you, t you should take me out with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> well. So, right, guys. So we're going to set off, we're going to get to three little pigs, me and my dad are going to go have some breakfast and we're going to rate it and tell you how it is. See you soon. Oh, we're off to piggies, three little piggies, give me a breakfast. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so what a place, to, you know, to go to three little pigs. Soon as I heard the name, you guys are saying, come try it out. I thought, right, I've got a rope to old father in. You all right in back there? Yeah, I'm doing well, doing well. Yeah. It's a bit weird being here at the back, I'll be honest with you. Well, you better get used to it, but like when I put you in care of being driven around. <laughs> <laughs> Sell your car. <laughs> I'm selling shed next because you said you put me in that. Well, that's it. Wait, it's a big shed, isn't it? Put your bunk beds in for you and my mum. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking my dad out for breakfast. All right, we're going to have a little bit of a chat. Uh, it's probably going to embarrass me a little bit, or I'll embarrass him. He's probably going to talk about me embarrassing him all the time anyway. But, uh, but yeah, three little pigs. Let's see if the breakfast is up to scratch because I tell you something every time I come to Barnsley I've got high expectations because obviously this is where I grew up and every time I've been it's just not been hitting the mark so I'm hoping that this breakfast can uh, satisfy the fat man uh, and that's got to be some big satisfaction shut up he's, so is it? he's on it already <laughs> isn't he uh, big satisfaction and guys just to let you know he don't call me son he don't call me Danny what do you call me? Chunk He's always called me Chunk. Chunk. So I don't find it offensive before anybody starts. All right, because I know some of you out there will be, oh no, I shouldn't be calling that. That's what I've always been called by my dad and by my mates as well. They all know me. From Barnsley, they know that my dad used to call me Chunk. So there you go. All right, so Chunk, let's get Brecky in you for your little biggies. So guys, we're nearly here and we're at stair foot on this building here. Right, that's got some memories for you, hasn't it, Dad? Oh, uh, that, that back there. So, my yeah. dad, he, he, uh, he what, what, what's the title? What's the official title? What are you? Slimming World Consultant. Slimming World Consultant. Yes, believe it or not, my dad is a Slimming World Consultant, uh, and that just goes to show that I don't listen to a word he says. Now right? That's not fair. That's not fair, though, is it? Come on. When you was a member. Yeah. Okay. How much weight did you lose through Slimming World? Three stone. Three stone, there you go. Three stone. You know, but that right. was before your uh, current uh, occupation. Current, yeah, my current job. <laughs> so my current job now has a bit of a factor in it where I can't, look, you know, lose weight, but I'm, I'm keeping it on a steady keel. So, but it does help me though in between, from what the knowledge that I gained helps me in between. But yes, yeah, so I used to come from uh, from Leeds, travel down here every week, didn't I? You did. Me, me and Carrie both used to come down and jump, jump on the old, uh, old scales. Have I gone down the wrong road here? I think I have. Oh look, talking away to the father and I've gone on the wrong road. But I'm sure I can get here this way. Yeah, I'll have to come back down. It's down here look. It says it's here. Three little is there three little pigs down here. Oh it's there look. Three little pigs. So we'll do it your turn up here. So then in, in fact we're heading towards the next one aren't we? <laughs> so because uh, you were there for a while weren't you? Yep. And then you went you went up here. Moved up here to and the church. Moved to one up here, and now we're in, is it Doncaster? In Bowlby, in Doncaster. Well, it's a bit far for me to travel that far. So, yeah, but if, I, if I'm honest with you guys, I'll be honest with you, I was a bit sceptical at first about all this uh, Slimming World palaver and all that, but I soon got into routine and fun of it, didn't I? And you certainly did. I and mean, what, what a lot of people don't realise, obviously, is that it's not a diet. You can eat. <laughs> It's so an advert everything. for you. Oh, well, I'm going well, for well, it. I'm going for it. We're going for it now, innit? Yeah, we're going for it. This is not endorsed by Rate My Takeaway. 
Uh, but yeah, no, it did help me out, to be fair. It helped help me through that time of my life. So yeah, there yep, you go. Three stone gone. That's it, three stone gone. Do this job, three stone back on. <laughs> no, I ain't put that much on before you all start carrying on. But, but you know, it's still going to be there and it can help you any time, you know, in between your, your, your job. Father, you phone me up in between my job. I'll get my mother. My mother phoned me up the other week. Where were we? We were at Stranham at Fees, weren't we, cameraman? And she, I showed it forward and she's like, well, you can't eat all that. <laughs> she was straight on it. You can't have all that. So, yeah. Look after me, don't you? Oh, we try to. Right, let's try and get in here now. Can you get, can you get this way? Can't remember, you know. I think you can look. We'll get here. There we are. So it's here. Three little pigs. I'll huff, I'll puff, I'll blow the bacon down. <laughs> I'll huff, I'll puff, I'll eat your breakfast now. That's what it is, isn't it? Big bad wolf on it. Three little piggies, three little piggies. Oh, oh yes, we can get Van in here. Get told. Meal my meal. Meal machine. What do you call it, Dad? The meal machine. The meal machine. That's it, isn't it? The meal machine. Well, it needed a, it needed some sort of uh, name, didn't it? You can't just go oh, van. I, I just go van. Let's get it van. <laughs> right. So, guys, we're here. We're at three little pigs. It says here, cafe and sandwich bar. So it's, it's there, foot in Barnsley. Plenty of parking for you. Eh? Come on, man. Look, there's a travel lot. You get yourself in there. You can do overnight. <laughs> right. Come on. Let's go, father. Let's get to uh, sorted out. Go see what's on menu. Oh, at three little pigs. Once I've got key out of here, there we go. Come on, let's go. Whoa, here we go, guys. Right, so knacker cracker away. Oh, right, guys, let's get stuff sorted. Oh, woohoo, woohoo. Run, it back there, old man. Yeah, well, to be fair, I'm thinking you're getting your own back here. You've got kiddie locks on. <laughs> right. I'm gonna get a chair for you. Two minutes, I'll let you out. Can't get out, can you? No. Locked you in. It's, it's so when I have George in, he's playing it back, he can't get out. Right. Right, guys, I apologise now. All right, it's a bit daft. Come on. Right. Whoa. It's like 18 on this. Oh. <laughs> Come I tell on, you what, it's, it's nice and roomy, plenty of leg room in there. Yeah, watch your back. Yeah, get out of here, old man. Come right, on, here you go. Ready for this? I'm oh, going to let you. Chair. Yeah. So that, that's what somebody uh, went out PO box. That's what they sent me. So I'll fetch it for you. I, I'd give you this one, but it's it's ready it's ready to break. All right. So I don't want you breaking it. My arm will kill me. Well, take it back. <laughs> Come on. Well, that's what they said. Take it back, right here we go. Hey, up look what's in wind in here. These guys know. <laughs> hey, they know, don't they? Yeah, right, come on. Right, guys, let's go in, see what's on menu for me and my dad. Oh, come on then, father. You all right? Yeah, look at this. Morning. All right, love? Hiya. How are you? I'm all right. Good. So, we recommend it to come down and try out breakfast, sandwiches. Yeah. And what, what you got going on? What's best? What do you recommend? Yep. Oh. What does it come with taties with a sandwich? Yeah, all made. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Are you up for that then? Oh, yeah, let's go for it. Breakfast and a pork sandwich. Yeah, why not? Yeah. You don't take me out that often, so. Have you heard him? Right, so two or four breakfasts. Would you like that? We'll just have regular because we're having a sandwich as well. Oh, yeah, we? just regular, yeah. Yeah, we don't. We'll go over the top. Yeah, I should be telling you off. Uh, two other pork sandwiches with the full mashing. Everything on them, yeah. Every, do you want everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. Gravy, yeah. Yes, please, love. Oh, what about soggy roasties with the gravy? Are they puddings? What's on there? Hey. Try these out, look. It's oh. your favourite there, look. Can I have that? Custard slice. Custard! <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the custard slice, please? What are you having one? What do you want? I'll tell you what, that eclair looks nice. And an eclair. And what are you having for to drink? Uh just a bottle of water, I think. Bottle of water, yep. I'll have a bottle of water as well, please, love. Yeah. Or should we go for tea? 
Or do you want a cup of tea? Oh, a cup of tea. Cup of tea, no, change that to a cup of tea. One please, water, love. one tea for old man. Hey, hold on a minute. I'm actually going to put a table up outside if that's all right and sit out there. Because of this lovely weather, I thought I'd catch a bit of rain. English summer. That's it. That's it, thank you, love. Look at the size okay. of that, it's massive, isn't it? Yeah, but you're going to eat all that, yeah? Save a bit for your mother, because your mother likes it, isn't it? No, just don't tell her. <laughs> just don't tell my mum. Don't tell her we've had pudding. She tells me off. Hey, yeah, that's a posh machine, isn't it? <laughs> it is when it works properly. Yeah, you've it's never like seen one like that before. Well, yeah. Oh, they're after you today, aren't they? I'll fetch you everything over to you. Right, well, thank you very much. Right, Cheers come up. on, Father, let's get out of here. You go first. Come on, guys, let's go set up. Oh, look, hold off on me then. I've got you. it. Thank you very much, Father. Right, oh, Ooh. I don't reckon much to this. I'll tell you what. Do you want a bit first guest it, Van? So you what, let's go. Come on. Let's go see if we can get tables set up. Let's go and sit in the moon machine. We'll, we'll uh, put chairs in back. Hey guys, we'll put chairs in, in boot and we'll, we'll get in van. So, if you want to jump in. Here, you jump in, grab that. I'll put this in boot. Oh, eh, get this. Fine English weather for the day, that's what it is. Should have done it a couple of days ago. I know, when it was sunny. Hey, what are you doing setting the table up? Hey, why not? Mate, you'll be careful with that. It's not going to have my fingers off, is it? Well, I don't know. It, 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 there's a knack to it. Right, let's get it in. Oh, wait, what's van? There we go. Right. Put the old knacker cracker away. Keep telling you about that. I know you do. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, oh, help. Hey, come on, Dad. Come on. Sorted. Your camping days, doesn't it? Eh? It does. So, when I do radio on a Tuesday, there's a bloke that, that messages me in, and he's, he's won a competition that I've done. So, once I get the summer out of the way, I'm going to go down, and he's from Sheringham. Oh. Yeah. That'll bring back some memories yeah. then, eh? Hey? Yeah, so what it was, guys, we used to go camping, didn't we, and, uh, all, all through my younger childhood. And what did we have? We had caravan tents, trailer tents, folding camper, folding static, sta oh. all down in Cromer. Oh, yeah. Good, good drive. How, how long? How long it was about three, three and a half hours, depending mm. on traffic. From 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 Tull Barsley, eh? We get down there, won't we? So yeah. So I might, I might. Well, obviously I'm going to take this beast down. So me at cameraman. So we've decided though that he can sleep up here because I don't think this will hold me. What do you think? Oh. Might need a bit of reinforcement. Come on. <laughs> Only a little bit. Only a little bit. <laughs> and I'm I'm going to I'm going to have this. So but yeah, we've got we've got cooker going on. Look, cooker there, sink. Oh. You'll not use the cooker though, will you? You're going to take away. Well, no. I, I, well, he might use it because he'll have boiled eggs and all that kind of stuff, doesn't he? He's, he's, as you can see, he goes to the gym, doesn't he? Bit of a health kick. Yeah, a bit of an health kick. He's, he, he's a dream. Dreams for you, <laughs> as you'd say, isn't it? Dreams. No, you don't, don't use it like that. It's when things are good. It's dreams. Well, I'm good. That's what you say about me, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Dreams. It is, yeah. Dream. Something good's happening. Dreams. Oh. Dreams. That's yeah. the way. That's the way it works. It's all right, innit? Windows are open. There you are, guys. We'll open windows now. Huh? It's all right, innit? It is. Yeah. We'll live now. I tell you what, I won't. I won't mind taking this away somewhere. Well, you know me, camping background. You know, kids. I know, but all I can see is you and me, mum, sat in here having a glass of wine and people knocking up door, thinking it's me. He's got right my takeaway plastered on the side. <laughs> Oh. I'll just say I'm advertising for you. All right then, I'll do that. I'll do that. You know what? And it's quite good because I, I can see when food's coming. I like this usually. They're sneaking up on behind me, aren't they, cameraman? I'm like, I'm sat here like this, and then all of a sudden, like a stealth ninja, whoosh, come straight in and do me in. So, as you can see, we're like twins, me and my dad. <laughs> I'm the younger one. Yeah. 
He's the young. We often get that, don't we? <laughs> we do, yeah. So a lot of people <laughs> say that my dad looks younger than me. So what the old guys think? Drop it in comments. I think that that you know, I think people are just having a laugh. Uh, you can definitely say that I'm 20 years younger, at least. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because he's got bald head. Started using wash and went, didn't you? <laughs> No, what it was, I was never going to wear a hairy horseshoe around my head. A hairy horseshoe. An hairy horseshoe. <laughs> so when uh, when it started going on top and it started getting that little Batman logo on the top, I yeah. thought, no, it's got to go. So, Mr. Editor, that's what Editor's like. He, he's got like a, I don't know what he's got going on. It, it's gone, it, it, he's gone from having a fringe to it being up here. <laughs> a lot of face to wash. Yeah, he has got a lot of face to wash. So, I, Mr. Editor, sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, there's a barber's there. I'd take it I'd for your haircut, but... There's no need, is there? I'd, I'd have tricked you. <laughs> well, I'd have gone for the hot towel shave, I think. But, uh... Hot towel shave? We've had a shave this morning. Oh, I've had a shave every morning. Yeah. So I've got my, my Barsley through one through one. So this is one of my, my favourite hoodies that somebody sent me. It's like a dream. Barsley through and through. Love it. So where we are now, I'm going to tell you a story now, guys, right? Where we are now... Don't embarrass it? me. No, well, I'm going to tell them what you like. We're at, we're at Stairfoot, and just across here, there's a, there's a bridge, right? And I, I used to have... Uh, well, he's going to tell you an embarrassing story about it in a minute, but I know he is when I say this. <laughs> right? I used to have a motorbike, didn't I? <laughs> he's laughing on, isn't he? Right, and I used to go out with my mates on, on motorbikes, and uh, I went up back of my mate's bike, actually, on, on this railway track here, and I come off, and I got a... I whipped my trousers down, and I got a bit of a flap on, on my knee. I got a stone stuck in my knee, so my, my, my grandma, she took me to the hospital, and my dad rocked up, and he went, what did you say? It's dreams. What did you say? I can't remember verbatim, but I think it was something like, what have you done? Yeah. Yeah? It can't be that bad. Yeah. Show us. Show us. Show us then. It's going, it won't be that bad. It won't be, be that out. bad. Be Come out. on. What would it like? Well, it, it looked like you'd sort of like the whole skin about that much of it. it just got... And he went, oh, all right then. Yeah. Maybe it is. Maybe it is a little bit bad. Yeah. But yeah. No, I used to enjoy going out on bikes, you know, once I got hang of it. Yeah, once you got hang of it. <laughs> This is, so this I'll, let is you, I'll let you tell the story. This, this is it, you see. Getting this bike, bit of a field to go and uh, trial it on. Um, in fact, it was the old Fulston school field, wasn't yeah, it? Shouldn't yeah. have done it, but, you know, then were the days. And uh, he goes off. Oh, pause a minute, pause bike, a minute. His... We're here. Oh, oh, hello. Wow. I'm coming over with breakfast in a second. Is that, is that just the sandwich? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Look at the size of yours. How come you'll get bigger? Well, you know what I huh? mean? Turn them around. Look at them guys. So, people have said to come to these three little pigs, right, for the pork sandwich. Look at that. That is, that, it does look good, that. You can't have no yet. We've got no, no, I'm just going to... Have a sniff, a sniff test. Oh, you've got some pork, look. Um, have you got five taters there? I've yeah, got and you've got four and a half. I've got four and a bit. They well, must like you, you better. Oh, do you know what it is? I bet that's OAP push. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll just turn these around, Dad, and then... So that's, you've got to work it. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, is that Yorkshire tea? It is. Still Lovely. got bag in it. That's a Barsley hey. brew, that, guys. In it, leave bag in, get it strong. <laughs> Cheers, love, thank you. I've got two tables, I'm going to put that one there so we've got some room. There you go. Nice one. So, do you want sugar? Do you want sweetening? I'd, I'd prefer sweetener, but... Have you got, I bet yeah. you've got some in your pocket, I haven't, actually. Yeah. I just went for one. Uh, he, 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 <laughs> in pockets, right, he's got sweeteners, handkerchief. Salt? Handkerchief. Salt, have you got some? Uh, yeah, no. carries it in his pocket. Uh, he's Wait. like a... It reminds me of a Swiss army knife, does me dad. <laughs> he'll have a jacket and he'll just have everything in it. So before they fetch his breakfast time, we get tucked in, let's go back. So we're on Folston Field. On Folston Field, right. Um, Brand new bike, it was Christmas it was, Day, wasn't it? It was, yeah. And uh, this field was... Uh, <laughs> Mother-in-law's house backed onto this field, so yeah. it's dead easy. Get out onto the field and ride around. So he got on helmet, pads, chest shield, the full works, oh, like, we yeah. wanted to protect him. I look like a pro, didn't I? Yeah, in, in, well, fact, in fact, if I can find a video of, no. of you walking down street in it, no. right, we'll, we'll, see if, we'll see if we can get oh. the uh, editor to put that on. No. But <laughs> he gets on bike, kicks it up, away he goes, and uh, straight line, and he must have wound it right open. Uh, I think he forgot to change gear, and then I was, I was standing back going, turn now. This is his version. Turn now, turn now, turn, turn. Oh, he's took a bush out. Straight into <laughs> edge. Straight into it was so, luckily, luckily, the council didn't sue us for any damage to no. edge. Um, and I think you were all right, weren't you? I, I was hurt, <laughs> right? And my version is I'm flying the outfield. Turn now. So it was a, a KMX 125. And I'm flying across this field, right? Turn now. 
and all of a sudden I saw this goalpost. So I swerved the goalpost and I went straight into the hedge. But it must have been the thickest part of the hedge, wasn't it? And yeah. it just completely wrote off the front end of the bike. I was covered in thorns and my mother, she come running over. She <laughs> yeah. bypassed me and went, Look at Stacey, it, bike! We paid a fortune, didn't she? Paid a fortune for that lot. And I'm like, I'm there, crippled on the floor, full of thorns and all sorts. Turn now. And Tom Mother's like, Look at Stacey, it, bike! So yes, I had to get my mates dad to rebuild it, didn't yep. we? Yeah. So luckily, one, one. luckily he knew what he'd do with my bikes. Yeah. So. Yeah. So so yeah, but no. So you know, I was lucky enough to have a mum and dad that, that got me the stuff I wanted. I just wrecked it. <laughs> just, I just wrecked the dream, didn't I? Straight away. Yeah. So I'm I'm sure we've got plenty more. <laughs> you, well, you've got plenty more stories to tell about me. Just let's. Just well, it's been a long, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Well, oh here we go. Oh, there you go. Hello. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Thank you very much. Oh, I'll just fetch you toast and some cutlery. Thank you very much, yeah. love. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit posh, that isn't it? That looks good, that, doesn't it? What's this? We've got beans in a pot again. It, it drives me nuts. But I suppose they've poshed it up. We've got a bit of greenage. So we've got, in fact, we've still got tomato on vine. Look at that. So this is it, you see. So it, from the outside, this is what I like doing, you see, Dad. It. Go around and find these little cafes that just go that extra mile. You know, if you went to an hotel, four or five star hotel, that is how you get your, your breakfast presented to you, wasn't it? Seasoned egg. It is, but why do they put these? I don't know. I think some, some people are weird now, aren't they? They don't mm. want, I don't want this touching that. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at bread. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much, love. Perfect. Thank you. You're a, you're a superstar, love. That's it, thank you. Thank yeah, you very much. much. Do you want your sauce? Salt, salt, pepper. I might have a bit of HP in a minute. Bit of HP, you want to bang yeah, some of that on? Bang that on there. Right, because what it is, we're going to get set up here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put... Well, you're used to just uh, dining for one, aren't you? Well, that's it, I'm dining, yeah. dining for two today, dear. <laughs> there we go, yeah. bob that over there, get some milk in here. You don't want sugar, that's fattening for you, see, I take yeah. that away, looking after me dad. Bob that in there. <laughs> Look after me dad's all for you. What I do, we don't will yet. There we go, <laughs> get that in there. Get rid of that. There you go, sorted. Oh, I, I like this, we've got like a little handy caddy here, haven't we? Right, knife and fork. Bob that over there. Bosh. Right, so... These are, these are even wrapped up nicely. Three little, I know. Three little pigs sticking little on pigs. it. So I think it's, it's only fitting to start with breakfast, isn't it? And it, it, it looks amazing. So we'll, 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 we'll try it. Okay. And, and then we'll review it. So cowman's going to come and have a look. Get your daggers out. Alrighty then. This is where sometimes you have to use that to wipe the dribble off of his chin. <laughs> Here, look at this. I forgot about these. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll have to make room I'll on take the table. That off. Right, picnic, in it. This is Thank the first you. time I've had breakfast and pudding. Well, you're not you're having breakfast, dinner, dinner, and pudding. pudding. Dreams. Yeah. Dreams. It's my life. It's my life. <laughs> I tell you what, this is some lifestyle, isn't it? Eh? It is, right. Sorry, sorry, guys. We're just laughing because I'm saying to my dad here, look at all this food in front of us, and, and I'm saying, come on, he don't get no. <laughs> He does. We'll, we'll give him a few scraps. Right, so, I don't know about you, but I'm taking these out of here. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a tomato lover, so... Uh, so that's all right for you, then? So, yeah, that's Yeah, you that's can leave it good. in pot, I'm, I'm leaving that. But mine's coming out. Mine's coming out. We'll put them up here, look at it, Rowood. Do you want me to get rid of those tomatoes? Do you want, do you want, do you want rid? Yeah, do you want it? No. Cameraman. They're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's yours. Yeah. You go to it, Jim. You can have some Tommy tomatoes. Right, so... Right, Dad, crack on, bit of toast. Right. All right, I'm going to go ashy brown first. Ooh, that's crispy. Ooh, it's, oh, it's, it's got a nice oniony smell to it, and I've just dropped it into my eyes. Right, ooh, ooh, yeah, right. Ooh. Now, I'm, I'm not a sausage lover, but <laughs> I have to try it. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? I don't know. Right, I'm not a sausage lover. Right. <laughs> I've got to try it. I'm going to. I can't believe we're going for sausage first. Well, everything else then will wash the flavour away. Took yeah, there for thinking, I'm telling you. I haven't been live this long and got it all wrong. Well, yeah, it gives me advice every day, don't you? Turn now. There you go. Of course I do. Right. How about Ash Brown? It's nice. Yeah. I better catch up with you, then I'm just going to go with, with sausage. What do you reckon? Now, I'm not a sausage lover, but there's more taste to that than some other sausages that I've, I've been forced to try. No. <laughs> What? You've been what? forced to try. Well, it's been what on my it? plate, isn't it? Like me, ma'am. Here, get, get this sausage no, no, down no. you. If it's on my plate, you've got to eat it, haven't you? Well, yeah. See, when, when, you, when you grew up, when I did... Well, I know. You know I remember scarce. now. Ah, that's why, because I used to say, I don't want this. Get it eaten. Get it eaten, yeah. 
Eh? Oh, she's not going to go on Amstrad that takes 15 hours to load with tape back and front. So you've got time to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> right, so it's got a nice texture, nice taste. And looking at that, it's not a, it's not a bought shop sausage. It's, it looks like it's a fresh from a butcher's. I'm going to have another piece. Get in. Get in. Right, what are you on to next? Ash Brown. I'll well, well, you've done Ash Brown. Right, well, you do Ash Brown. I'll do my Ash Brown. I'll catch up with you. This is a right review of this guy, isn't it? This, it's, quite, it's quite soft and I think it's been fried, this. See, it? here, here that rate my... That's it. Here that rate my takeaway. We like to do help, help the elderly. <laughs> so that's a nice half brown. It's got a, I think it is. It's got a nice crisp... Yeah, crispy on the edge, soft, soft in the middle. Nice yep. flavour to it. And for those who haven't who got oh, faulty, you know don't what? have to chew it too much. Be all right for me, man, that. Yeah. Right, She's going to kill you for that. Know. You know that, don't you? I'm going in for egg. I'm going to dip the egg. But if you look at the bread, the top, we've got a mixture here. You've got white, and then you've got, what they call this, granary, is it? Granary, yeah. Bit of granary toast, so I'm going to... What's that one at the bottom? Same, I think it's white, so there's, there's two white and two granary. All oh, right. Look at that egg seasoned up. Oh, that's, see, a... that's where it differs, you see. You've got a dippy egg there, and this one, this one's not as hard. This one's yeah, gone hard. Yeah. No consistency mm. there, look. Oh, I'll have to sort the eggs out, won't they? You know what I mean? I'm going to have to get rid of this bit of string. It's going to go in hard here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm there for tens of my dad's going to be like, yeah, that's a solid five, is that? Well, when you've had as many breakfasts as I have. Well, looking at me, I've had more. So that's totally it. That, you like that? Have a, have a bite of that. I'm going in. When I was a kid, and I think this has been most kids, granary toast, granary bread, you'd be like, well, no, I'm not eating that, there's bits in it. But now I quite like it as it get older. It's, it's not what are you a, doing? Well, I just had a bit of a niche, didn't I? No, why are you using cutting your toast and that for fuck? Well, why not? I'll just get off that bit. It's a takeaway, Dad. We're not in a restaurant, are you? Oh, man, alive. Why did you give me a fork and knife, then? <laughs> because, for your beans. But you can, it's up to you, like, well, look, look at me egg. I can't dip in that, look. I'm trying to do a review here and you're mucking about. <laughs> right, well, have a bit of toast then. Dip it in egg. Oh. Dip it in beans. <laughs> Not brown sauce. No, that's right, I'll just go for the toast. That's nice, that. Nice butter on there. I don't know if it's a bit of that stuff that costs a fortune, isn't it? I'll tell you what, I bet it can't be that. Because obviously a restaurant like this, a cafe, takeaway, they, they wouldn't pay that much. Nine quid for a ton of that stuff. Butter. Right, I'm going to attract tomatoes. So well, you've, not, you've not got them. You won up on me on that then. Oh, they've added, well, they have. They've added a bit of seasoning to that, a bit of pepper. So it's put, <laughs> a bit spicy, it's popping off. But I'm one of them weird eaters. I love tomato on my salad. Right? Right. Love tomato on my salad. With tomato sauce in my beans. I'll eat raw tomatoes, but then tin tomatoes, then plum tomatoes. Not, not, a, no. not, not a thing. Not a thing for me. Right, I'm going to wet my whistle. Oh, oh. Just wet, I've just wet my breath. <laughs> I can't wait to tuck into that pork sandwich. Look at this, guys, I'm dribbling. <laughs> Water's all over. Eh? It'd be like when I was a kid, Dad, you'd have to wipe it off my three chins. That's four now. <laughs> well, it is four, isn't it? They're catching up. Let me get you. Go on, thank you. Right. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a cherry tomato then. Still on vine. Eh? Poshed up a bit, aren't they? Your mother started growing tomatoes this year. What are you doing now? We're taking that bit off. You can't eat that bit. Yeah, you just put it on plate with your pork. Yeah, but it's out of the way, isn't it? Right. You're criticising the way I'm No, eating. no, no, you crack on. Right, uh, come on, get to out. <laughs> oh, you, you squat, there's no there now. Well, it's quite sweet, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Is it a bit of thingy? Right. Mush no, I know you like mushrooms. Oh, I do like mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, God, I remember when I was a kid, you used to like do full punnet on a sandwich with tiger bread. Your mother started growing tomatoes this year. <laughs> you're going to have mushrooms, you're going to have mushrooms, aren't you? Mm. Yeah, they're all right then. They've still got a bit of a bite to them, haven't they? There's some button mushrooms, they, they just haven't got their flavour, but... No, what I mean is as well, when they cook, sometimes when people cook them, they like sort of stew them. But these have still got that bit of a harder texture to them. Yeah. Tastes good. I'm not too keen on tinned mushrooms. What's all that about? Why tinned mushrooms? I know. You get that when you go on holiday, don't you? Yeah. And tinned you've got mushrooms. these all inclusive, it's tinned mushrooms, and they just... They remind me of just like little slugs or something like that. <laughs> Quite slimy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, little slugs on plate. Right, beans, one of the beans. What, you're not bread? No, I'm just getting myself a little oh, yeah, bit prepared. Cutting, cutting your toast up yeah. again. <laughs> right, crispy bacon. Oh, here we go. Now, this is where it tells me off because I'm going to show you, I'm going to get my fingers in here, but, but it, it says to me, if I want to keep slim, I need to pull that bit off and get rid of it. Get rid of that. And and, and then eat, eat that bit. But me, that's where the flavour is. <laughs> I'm having that. What? Oh, just say it, Dad. Is it the business? No, not that bit. The fat oh, bit. I'm not going to have that, am I? Just say it. God. 
Blimey, okay. Let's try it. You well, can I'll... put all that in your mouth. Just well, hold I'll... it over. Well, That's what I've done. Look at you. When I, when I jump on... about. When I jump on them scales at weekend. I do. Oh, let's try it medallion then. I like it. I, see, that's the thing. People have got different tastes, haven't they? And that's like with the reviews, like some people will say, oh, no, I don't like that, don't like this. And it's, it's I, I just give my opinion. And the fact that I just like all food is probably a good thing. For it is, yeah. It helps a little bit. <laughs> Apart from seafood. Sweet corn. Oh, yeah, devil's food a lot. But it wouldn't do if we was all the same, would it? No. Now, now see that medallion? See, it's nice. And it's a different... It's a nice bit of bacon, actually. It's a different flavour to uh, the fat bit. But I like the fat bit. I like, well then again, I mean it's... I like fatty bitch. <laughs> My bubbly way! Right. Need to get some steadies on. I know. Right, this is where we're upset you now, so now we're, we're done with that bit. Can't have no more. Oh why not? Because I get told off. Alright. So now we're gonna try pork sandwich and the roast titties. Okay. I think I don't want to keep on to me uh... slide it over. So <laughs> this this is what people were talking about, right? To come down there and try this. Now we've got a pork sandwich. It's got a big wedge of crackling on top, which I think we're going to have to take that out because we're not going to be able to bite this, are we? Well, to be fair, I'm not a crackling person. Never have been. Nope. Never have been. Whether it's I soft reckon... or crackling, no, it's not for me. I always said to me, you know, like if we're going to some kind of apocalypse, I reckon if you cook for me, there'd be a lot of crackling. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take mine off and just pop it to the side, right? But there's stuffing in here, there's a bit of apple in there, homemade apple sauce as well. Look at this guy's big pulled bits of pork here. Let's have a look under here. But yeah, look, bit of stuffing. You can see a bit of apple there. It's all going on, isn't it? Oh yeah. A bit of onion as bit well. Of onion, look. yeah. So that'll be the homemade stuffing as well that she was saying, so they probably added a bit to it. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna try taties first and we'll leave the pork some. What? You were nibbling, nibbling, no, nibbling no. away. No, don't, don't. Get on. Is it 10 second rule? Yep. <laughs> no. Right. Pot of gravy. 20 oh, seconds look now. At them. Nowadays. <laughs> Isn't it nowadays? You've got big, crispy roast potatoes, but they are soft and they're proper taties, these. They're not out of a bag. Well, they are. They're out of a tater bag and they're peeled, chopped, roasted. Let's get it in this. Oh my God. Look at that. Barnsley gravy. Look at that, guys. Proper, but this is why I love Barnsley, you know, back in the day. So editor said to me, he says, Johnny says, I've been looking on comments and people are saying go to this place because of roast sandwich. He says, why is it over Barsley, Sheffield way? It's all about roast sarnies. And I said it's because it just all goes in the oven at one, one temperature, it gets cooked, it's done, isn't it? Yeah, done, out. Right, I'm having this. Slap it in between uh, or inside one of these. It depends oh. on where you come from in the in the country. I not tried that yet, and taters are nice. That's what I mean, that's what I've had. Put it in gravy, give it a bit of a stir in gravy. Oh my god, these have been done in dripping, these, you can taste it, can you, you taste can, it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. They're nice, aren't That's they? That's nice. Nice gravy, taters done in dripping, the old fashioned way, the proper way. Probably, you can tell they've not been deep fried, because some places you go to, they're deep fried, yeah. aren't they? And say, oh, they're roasted, but they're not, these, these are obviously done in oven. Do you know what, I'm going to go as far as to say, they're nowhere near as good as my mum's taters, but they're better than I can do, and they're probably one of the best roast taters I've ever had, to be fair. They are with the flavour, but I've got to get that in, they're not better, they're not than, better my than my mum's. Got your back there, don't Yeah, right, cheers. Look, he's a with knife and fork again. Right, I'm going to put some, um, in fact, I'm going to try it without gravy. No, well, taters are nice, I'm going in again. You're going in again. I'm going to go for a pork sandwich while you're not taters, I'm going to have a go at this, and then I'm going to dip it in gravy, so we've got a nice floured bread bun. Ah. Oh. Soft, innit? No, no, it is. You bite into it, and you've got that, There's, that apple sauce is amazing. You can taste it straight away, then the stuffing, and then you get to the pork, and oh, beautiful bread cake. Here we go then. I'm telling you. Mm. Oh, that stuffing's nice, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? Have we got to, can you taste the apple? Have we got to it? No. Might be a dollop down the other side. Might, might be round the back. You know, it's like when they do some sandwiches, they put it just on one side. <laughs> it's all falling out. Falling out. That right. sandwich is in it. It won't stay in. I'm going to dip it. Oh, look. The pork's fell out. A bit of gravy on here. Oh, I'm telling you, that is amazing. That pork's so tender as well, isn't it? You know what I can't believe the amount that you get. It's a decent portion size. Look, it's even gone in, it's fallen out into my gravy. It's just well, look, how, look how much has fell out of mine. <laughs> That's a meal there. You don't get that much of the carvery. No, you don't, do you? And then you've got, oh, now, you know this bit of the pork? I love this. Oh, look at this. 
Oh. It's fat again, isn't it? Mm. But, oh, that tastes like pork scratching. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Because it is, I'm going to try it crackling. You're not into crackling, so I'll do it. No, you, you, you have to do that bit. Ah. Sounds crunchy. You know, ah. <laughs> my mum would love this. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. Right. Sorry. We've got to ditch it now. Man alive. Let's put them over there. Yeah, put it over there. Come on, man, I'll have some in a bit. Put in. Now, you um, love an eclair, don't you? Oh, oh I do. Look at that, Remember when we was in, um, um, in Spain? And got these massive, I mean, like an elephant's foot. All oh, right, I thought you were going to talk about them. No, 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 not that. Well, you can tell them, but. <laughs> save that one for another day. Yeah, we'll save that one. We'll save that one for a podcast or something. So from then, I mean, I used to used to like those so much. Eclairs, to be fair, they're never enough. They're not big enough for me. They're not big enough. No. I'm I'll the just... same. I'm the same with this bad boy. So look at this. Eh? Uh, not being funny. That is. A, a, a custard slice, and that is custard. Okay, that bit of custard. So you like to take after your dad, there, don't you? Like yeah, but to be honest, I think the only thing that lets me down. Here. Ooh. Now, the question is, is is that fresh cream or is it synthetic cream? Oh, where are you going to tell oh. us that? I think for this, they, they, they could have filled it to the edge. Yeah, couldn't they? Because when I bite into it, I know that's going to spread out. They could have filled it, so right, crack on, Dad. Just get, just get a big gobful. <laughs> oh, how could you not like these? You, you've got to like them, haven't you? Yeah. But preference, always go for eclair. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Feels quite hard there, actually. Not great, don't I see tie guys. So my dad works in a school, don't you? I do. And he wears all these weird wacky ties every day. The thing is, throughout the school year, I don't wear the same tie every day. Just one tie. That's it. For the full year, so you've got a different tie. Different every tie day. every day for the school year. Oh my god. Huh? I don't even e through Christmas. I don't even do that with my underpants. <laughs> I've only got five pair after washing. But no, so it was a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? I come down. Yeah. So it, it stitched me up now. It says, Will you come down to school for an hour? Because we do this, what is it, thing on a Thursday? What you Proud do? presentation. Basically, the kids show um, the uh, SLT some work that they're proud of that they've completed that week. They come along, get a certificate, um, and the praise that they deserve for doing some proud work. Yeah. So I thought it'd be an hour. <laughs> I was here from what, half eleven until about quarter to three or something, quarter to two or something like that. <laughs> but do you know what? Shout out to kids at school. It was a pleasure to meet you all. We had some photos and a chat with a few kids, and the work was spot on. And it was nice because I think that there were more people at that proud table than there ever had been. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, let's it crack just on. sort of went on forever. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Like Go on, let's try this then. How was it? That's all right, that. Um, the shoe pastry is a little bit hard, so I don't know whether it's been overcooked or what, but it, but it is nice. Oh, what? Good, isn't it? Shoe pastry. Well, obviously, I'm going to be out of a need job. to know when I first. You know, when, have to do it out when I first left school many moons ago, I went in the Merchant Navy, and my profession in there was to cook. That's it. So, uh, I do know a Chef. little bit. Cook, cook in the Merchant Navy. Docked yeah. a few times. You got some rum on that, didn't you? And oh, yeah. <laughs> live, live the life. You were like, where did you go? Oh, I've been around a bit. Well. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. Well, I've probably saw more, more of the world in, uh, in those three years than, uh, than I'm ever going to do in the rest of my life, to be fair. You know? Well, that's it. So, good experience for you. Yeah. Wasn't it? And, yeah, the, the shoe pastry is a little bit hard. But other than that, chocolate, nice. Yeah. Really milky. And and the cream, I don't know. I would have it again. That's the You'd thing. Have it again. I'd have it again. Right, <laughs> we're gonna go through it now. So I'm gonna go through it and then we'll give a score, yeah? Right. So the breakfast for me, right? Beautiful butcher's sausage there. We've got nice crispy bacon. The fla the flavour of them both absolutely gorgeous. The tomatoes, they're seasoned well, they've got a bit of pepper in there, it left a bit of a tang, a beautiful ash brown. The egg, one more one runny, one more hard. So you know the consistency of the egg. The beans were spot on. Mushrooms, absolutely gorgeous. Got a nice bit of a bite to them, all right? As far as, far as a breakfast goes, with that toast, I, I think it's bang on for an English breakfast, to be honest. I think it represents a full English really well. Nice bit of colour to it. Presented well. Flavours, amazing. For me, I'd like a bit of black pudding on there. Good call, bit of black pudding. Bit might black be pudding. extra, might be extra. Might be extra, we didn't ask. And we only got the regular, so the, the large one might have a uh. black pudding on. Then we moved on to this monster. Now. 
if I'm honest, this is what has, has, has grabbed the attention for me with this place. This beautiful, big, fat pork and stuff with an apple sandwich with homemade roasties. Gravy. The roasties cooked in dripping. Absolutely gorgeous. Crispy, fluffy. Gravy, full of flavour. Beautiful soft roll. In mind, there's plenty of apple sauce in there, so when I bite into it, I can taste the apple and the stuff in the pork. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep. And, and for me, I didn't get a flavour of the apple, um, so... Maybe it was just a little bit further back in the sandwich, which is fine because yeah. the sandwich itself without the apple was was great. Yeah, I gravy nice and thick. Yeah, and that's how gravy should yeah. be. Nice and thick. Right, so I I I'd come back for that any day a week. Mm. Then we moved on pudding. So <laughs> vanilla slice custard for me. It's upside down. Look, eh? bit of icing on top. I absolutely love these. Absolutely gorgeous, full of flavour. Absolutely bang on. Then my dad, you went for the, the eclair. The eclair. Uh, so, the shoe pastry was a little bit on the hard yeah. side, but other than that, everything else was spot on. Yeah, so here we go. We're going to get to scores. So just be truthful, all right? The cup of tea. The cup of tea, how is it? Yeah, well, that's a proper cup of tea. Is that a proper brew? Proper brew. Right, guys, so for me, I think value for money, right? It's spot on. We've got a lot of food here, all right? It's presented well. I think it's great. So if you've been down here to the Three Little Pigs, let me know what you think. If you've not been, come down, try it out. But for me, it's it, it, it's probably one of my favourite cafe, cafe breakfasts I've had in a while. I'm glad I've come to try it. It's going to be a solid 10 for me, without a shadow of a doubt. What do you reckon? So with the, with the eclair, a little bit of... Um, the shoe pastry is a little bit hard, so you know, for me, that's what's laid it down. Right. So for me, I'd have to go nine, nine and a half. 9.5. 9.5. There you go. He's knocking it off, guys. What, what pastry? Well, you know, you've got to get things 100% right to get the, get yeah. the 100% score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm just not having you on again because you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. So, I'm going to crack on with this. Thank you very much for coming along, Father. No worries at all. It's been a pleasure. Right. Anytime. I'll see you next time, guys. Oh, and I'm winning for crackling me. <laughs> um.